Hello, my treasures. It's time to freeze the competition away with Freezer Burn DK. Essentially, the idea of this deck is we're going to be using the new free support within DK in combination with the DK Tourist buttons in order to basically freeze out our opponent's board turn after turn while also doing a bunch of face damage through things like Concierge in combination with Blood Mage and Molten Magma. We also do have a way to freeze out the entire board through Frostworm's Fury. Now for the willing guide, first thing to look out for is draw power, of course. After that, you're going to be looking for Glacial Shard plus Snow Shredder if you're going second. And then you're going to be looking for early game removal tools such as Molten Magma. And finally, things like Mining Casualties are great to keep in your opening hand. Now with that all being said, let's look at some games. Okay, a Demon Hunter. A Demon Hunter? Mm. Uh, Demon Hunter might be bad for us. I'm going to keep one of the Glacial Shards and then probably Siren Song, but we probably will get rid of everything else here. Actually, mm, no, nah, let's get rid of Siren Song. Siren Song is one of those cards that, like, it isn't bad. Oh, actually, this hand got a lot better. Uh, like, a lot, lot better. So we coin Glacial Shard into Snow Shredder. I do wish we had a little bit of draw power, though. I will say that. that that's the one downside of that combo is you basically eat up most of the resources in your hand, and that is kind of a shame. Uh, let's just go face. I I'd assume they probably are going to try... Well, maybe they'll just go face. It depends on also w if they have any other minions in their hand. Speaking of a, a minion that <laughs> I did not want to have to deal with, I guess... Oh... We're going to have to trade. Oh, never mind. They're going to trade for us. Okay, we have to get rid of the 2-2. Two -two. There, 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 mm, no way we can't deal with this right now. We just got to survive long enough for... Okay, come on, heal. Heal actually is really good. Draw wouldn't be bad either. Oh, perfect. The heal can put us back into the game. As long as we can survive until turn 7, we should be good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Molten Magma was be a good talk. Oh, I mean, that isn't that, but I mean, this does clear out the board. That actually was a good top deck. Uh, out of all the cards that we could have top decked, that, that was actually pretty good. You know, I've been going back and forth between having a second copy of this and Remorseless Winter, but I, I think Remorseless Winter is just going to be the better card just because it draws. Also does help that like a lot of decks right now are reliant on one HP minions and they might have a way to get to two HP, but they don't really usually have a way to get to three. Speaking of a two HP minion. Okay, so they trade, go face, we probably heal. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so let's use buttons. This draws us two. Molten Magma is one of them. I, I also thought about using the nature spell that gives you a Naga and a random spell, but space actually in this deck is a little bit tight. Like, I would love to stick some more, like, free support in the list, but, like, you really are kind of tight on the amount of space that you can have or <laughs> is in the deck. Now, a 40 card list, this would actually probably be better. We run a little bit more draw power and then a little bit more free support and then you're a little bit more consistent at least with the freeze angle but yeah, this works too oh look that is a perfect top deck oh we're gonna freeze them out of this game oh hey this pupil has learned how to freeze our opponent okay so probably the next fury next turn and then the turn after molten magma maybe okay they're going to heal themselves that's fine oh that actually is a really good top deck that's actually so good if we can survive like two turns we have like full combo in our hand kind of actually no we don't even have to go two turns because we slam down the two conchi airs and then slam down blood mage that makes molten magma cost we got it got it let's go i hope it you don't mind it getting a little bit hot in here this really is hot and cold the deck i, I just realized that actually 
It's a bunch of damage there. Slam this down. Grab a molten magma. Do it three times. And then we're, oh no, we're one off. But look, look, look. We got a minion. GG. Okay, temporary game against Druid. Druid is one of those matchups that I am a little bit worried about. There's only really two matchups that I'm kind of worried about, which is Druid and Warrior, which are basically the exact same deck. Both are slow, though, at least with Druid, you do have it in theory a good matchup just because if you keep freezing out your opponent, you can still do a lot of direct damage without having to attack into anything with this deck. And... Uh, there was a game with Warrior. I don't know if he'll make it into the final video or not. But we managed to go through, I think, like, 50 HP between, like, armor and such. And we still won the game. Because I think it went into fatigue. I could be wrong. Like, it was definitely a game where I'm like, uh, maybe it gets included. Maybe it doesn't. We'll see. Okay, so they did attack into our minion. We're just going to slam this down for tempo. I can't believe I'm actually using that term. The the Frostbolt would have been nice, but uh, yeah, we had no way to actually use it, right? Okay. Come on, something good. Mana discount wouldn't actually be bad. Oh, draw actually isn't bad either. If we could actually target Unkiliax with the <laughs> mind control, that would be good, but we can't, so yeah. Draw is just going to be better in the long run here because I think we we do need to start dealing with that. Okay, there's new heights. Okay, coin. Oh, I will say this. You don't know how much it sucks to be facing that card until someone slams that down for like 20 damage in combination with like new heights and such. It's absolutely insane. Also makes me want to revisit the idea that I had for... Oh, actually, that's a good card. Anyways, what I was going to say is it makes me kind of want to revisit um, my initial theory craft for Druid. I know the set just came out, but again, I, I don't know. I've actually, I'm actually kind of ahead on videos. Uh, I, I think I have footage for maybe two more uploads, two and a half more uploads after this. Well, actually, including this. On discard something good but i also don't i don't know i i prefer to try to get better replays and them being like absolutely insane instead of just going with like oh this is a decent replay right i will say this i am still still hunting originally this was supposed to be pirate dk still hunting for that replay with pirate dk we will we, we'll get it expect the pirate dk list next week sometime i don't know when either monday or maybe wednesday depending on if i want to do two dk decks back to back we'll see but but we're going to try our hardest to do like three uploads next week because it's a new set so why not did we have a way to like win here i don't think we did no we don't have molten magma in hand Okay, innovate. 10. Okay, oh, we were so close. It makes sense why they would do that. I'm not going to lie, that actually is a really good play on their behalf. Now, do we want to freeze out the board? Actually, we have a few ways to freeze out the board, don't we? Because we can use might here. Might freezes both. We can forge. Because I also kind of want to use the star to do six damage to our opponent's face. Okay, we attack here, and then we use this and get as much damage to our opponent's face as humanly possible. Now, unless they have a way to bounce back that ENR, we should be fine, right? <laughs> of course, they can clear out board. <laughs> we use Belling Plains, get rid of the ENR next turn. Come on, RG. Be on our side. You were remorseless. Oh, thank you. All right. It's not going to work because we didn't use a freeze card next turn, but we can draw. Okay. Dorian. Oh, please don't have any more. Yeah, ramp, ramp up a little bit. Come on. Keep on ramping. That That's no minion draw. That's actually really good for us. We're going to pop their board next turn. Let's go pop, pop, pop. 
swarm the board a little bit. Okay, okay. I really... Okay, there... Okay, <laughs> well... Oh, why did they have to have Unkiliax? You know, I... <laughs> I'm going to freely say this. I don't think there is a single card that I've hated dealing with more than Unkiliax. I, I legitimately don't think I... Like, none of the new cards have annoyed me to the point. I, I mean, I guess the, the pirate cards are kind of annoying, but... Oh, yeah, let's let's just keep drawing. Oh, Popsicle is really good. Oh, wait. Not really full combo, but, that, but it's really close to combo in hand. Okay, come on, keep swarming the board. You know what would be a great top deck? I would love a title or type pool pupil. Come on, swarm the board. Keep on doing it. Come on. <laughs> you know, Johanna. Yeah, come on. Just a little bit more. Lock yourself out of the game. Come on. You're so close. That's actually the best part about this deck. There are so many cases where you can easily just lock your opponent out of the game because they just swarm the board with a bunch of minions. And then you just do a bunch of face damage through all the minions. Yeah, keep on going. We're at 20 HP. Okay, buttons isn't necessarily what I want, but like that, that does it. That, that helps. Do some more damage to their face. We could slam down the shredder just to sh slam down the shredder. Get the stuff back we did use one tight pool right that is a good amount of hp just got off oh i mean <laughs> let's just keep them locked down <laughs> you can't do anything if they're if they're stuck like this right they're down to eight okay the funny thing is, like, if we played this wrong, we could have easily healed them up to full. But I, I think we, ironically enough, I think we got it here, right? Maybe not. Oh, no, we do. We do. We do. We do. We just need to destroy one of our minions without healing them. I was trying to figure out, like, how we would do this. It is time to serve some drinks up to our opponent. I hope you like magma because it's going to get a little bit hot in here. To warm you up after giving you a little bit of frostbite. And this is going to be a GG. Okay, time for a game against Shaman. Let's see what they actually have in store for us. Why don't we? There are actually a few different Shaman lists floating around right now. And also it is worth mentioning that this is kind of early-ish on in testing. I think we'll probably end up cutting some of the cards. Uh, depending on how they do. Speaking of one of the cards that we'll cut, <laughs> Frostbitten uh, Freebooter is definitely a card that I I think is short for this deck. I, I do not think that card is going to probably be worth it to keep in the long run, even though I love the artwork on the card, which is kind of a shame. This hand honestly doesn't look that good, but it depends on what our opponent is playing. If they're playing the Swarm the Board decks, then maybe this is fine because we do have AoE. But like if they're playing something else, then we are definitely going to be a lot better off. Okay, let's just use our hero power, pass it back to them. Oh, it definitely feels like it's... It definitely seems like this is going to be a slower matchup, which is good for us. I'm going to try to get this in. Hopefully they don't randomly get a healing totem off of this, to be honest. Which would be kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. Okay, they draw two. I wonder if this is going to be Insidious Shaman. Like, I know we probably don't really have any knowledge if it is or if it isn't going to be, but I, I have a feeling that this is what it's going to end up being. Okay, okay. Yeah, a lot of draw... That actually almost looks like it's my list. Like, that is definitely a deck that I really want to try out. I, I just... I don't know. I haven't gotten to it. Maybe we will try it out. Like, I feel like there's a lot of lists that I, I, I originally wanted to showcase, but I also know that y'all enjoy when I'm playing a more unique deck. 
And if people have already talked about said deck, I, again, I, I don't really, I can't really compete with the people who are in the creator program, as sad as that is to say. Like, I would love to try to compete with them. I just can't really, right? There's only so much I can do versus them since I, I, I know there are decks that they're going to be able to cover day one that I just won't be able to get to. Though it is also worth mentioning that like, there is an even playing field when it comes to mini sets because in mini sets i can do whatever i need to also getting this mana discount is pretty nice come on something good oh this oh this script could be really good I, again i don't really know what version of the list or what we're facing against but i'm assuming it's going to be since they're slower i'm assuming it's going to be insidious list i might also be butchering the name of that but you know it is what it is Okay, okay. I mean, I don't I don't know what the purpose of doing that was, but it is what it is. All right, let's come on something above rush minion, please. And no, we do not. Oh, the acupuncture is raw or masseuse. Sorry, whatever it is called. Not really a card I want to see. Novel zapper. Oh. I actually, you know what? Uh, at least that doesn't clear out the board. Okay, there's Fizzle. I am very curious. Oh, out of all the cards we could have burned. Of course. Of course. Why did it have to be that card? Uh, I think we'll grab this. Well, I want to do as much damage as humanly possible. I guess we might as well burn that or slam that down. And I want to see what we've revived, so we're not going to slam down any of the snow borders or snow shredder sorry i am really sad though that the uh, rebooter it just it feels dead 90 percent of the time i tried to build the deck originally around that card in particular using things like yelling yodeler and such but like there's just i don't know there's not we needed to focus more on like doing aoe damage and like burning our opponent i think which is why i think after this game we'll probably cut them out of the list Shame to say, but it is what it is. Sometimes stuff like that happens, right? All right? Let's try to get as much damage in as humanly possible. Maybe we can even OTK them. Oh, maybe we can't. I mean, close enough, right? 8 HP. Get two of these back. Wait, we actually might have it next turn. Because what? We use the Primus. Primus discount 6 into... Yeah, that would do it. Shutter block, shutter block into what? Actually, maybe we don't have it. Okay, ne yeah, never mind. We definitely don't have it. Oh, we can still try for it, I guess. How close are we going to be? I'm going to grab Reska. I think that just makes more sense for now. Come on, we're so close. Oh, we're going to be one off. Mm. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> do, what? No, that wouldn't have mattered. All right, let's just get rid of that. I, I guess actually that probably was a mistake. Probably should have kept that for later. All right, come on. Just don't have enough damage. Oh, it was insidious. Uh, ooh, uh, <laughs> uh, that could be a problem. So there's 15 in their deck. I guess if they don't have spell damage, then we're fine, right? Okay. Wait, we're fine. This, I mean, this gets rid of the minions, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, they're going to erupt on our face. That's actually a pretty neat tech choice. I didn't think about using Gaslight as a way to draw through all your pieces like this. That's actually kind of cool. I don't, maybe it's not worth it, to be honest, because you can't guarantee the damage that way, right? I don't think. I mean, you could, in theory, guarantee the damage. You would need a Blood Mage. Well, it's a two-turn clock, I guess. Normally speaking. Or three-turn clock. Because Shutter Block into Insidious on the falling turn. Into Shutter Block plus Gaslight. And then, I guess... Wait. No, that's all the mana you got. <laughs> that's impressive, though. I I'll try... <sighs> I'm glad that this doesn't skip my turn, though. I will say that. Because this is definitely a long animation, and I know Hearthstone's history with skipping turns. Um, but I, I guess they can't erupt any further. <laughs> We're going to erupt on their face. 
make them chill out a little bit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> GG. All right, now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. So I tested quite a few different variants of this list. One that was more reliant on Death Rattle, such as the Frost Free Booter, which was a card that I love the artwork for. It is just horrible. This is a card that you can't really use in this deck, so we ended up going down more of the burn route. Ended up with a 45% run rate across the 20 games that I played with the deck, making it not the most meta-relevant deck out there. However, it does have a lot of possibilities to overwhelm decks that rely on minions that only have 1 HP through things like Molten Magma and Hardcore cultists there's just so much aoe and so many ways to prevent your opponent from doing anything by freezing out their entire board while focusing down their hero's hp making this deck actually quite a fun one to try out especially if you're a fan especially if you're a fan of the old versions of frost dk that could easily otk your opponent However, if you're looking for something that can strictly win, this might not be the deck for you. Now, like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.